What is up everyone? Movie Manny. Movie Manny here and today I'm going to be reviewing a new horror remake that was shot in time. Meaning everything that occurs during the film happens in exactly 88 minutes. No cuts. Uh, yeah, so just like the movie, I'm going to be reviewing this with zero cuts. What is up, everyone? This week, I saw a horror remake that I kind of actually enjoyed. But yeah, this week, I'm going to be reviewing the new horror remake, In Time, Zero Cuts, Silent House. I think I found a way out. Please, oh God. Who are you? Why are you doing this to us? Silent House was written and directed by movie-making couple Chris Kentis and Laura Lau. And it stars the beautiful Elizabeth Olsen. A little obsessed with her, totally natural, totally normal. It also stars Adam Treese as John, her father, and Eric Stevens as Peter, her uncle. Pretty much what Silent House is about, Sarah, her father, and her uncle are at their vacation home. No, not to relax. To fix it, clean it, and eventually sell it because people keep breaking in and messing it up when they're not there, and you know, they just don't want it anymore. So while Uncle Peter and Father John, <laughs> he isn't a priest, are cleaning up the place, Sarah's walking around the house when all of a sudden this weird woman comes out of nowhere. Oh hey VFF, remember me? It's Sophia, your best friend when we were five. We should hang out soon. Sarah doesn't even remember this girl and she's like, okay. I mean, what would you do in that situation? So Sophia like disappears, she's like, bye. And you know, from then on things start to get freaky. That's pretty much it. I know that's not a lot of information about the movie, but from then on, really, everything happens. I mean, the whole situation uh, lasts for the rest of the movie. So, yeah, I can't really tell you much else or else it'll be, you know, spoilery. 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 Now, viewers, this is the time where I discuss the likes and the dislikes, and I kind of just talk about why I like the likes and why I like the dislikes. Well, I don't like the dislikes. I hate the dislikes. Why I liked it and why I disliked it. So, here we go, starting with the likes. So like I said before, this film is 88 minutes long and everything that happens in the film is in exactly 88 minutes. So if someone had to take a 5 minute walk, you know, we'd be watching them walk for 5 minutes. I think the way this was shot really made the film and it made total difference. I know, I know, this was a remake and uh, we've seen it before, this type of idea. But you know, this is very different, especially to America. Um, and I think this is what really what America cinema needs right now. Enough of this found footage bullshit and this dumb plot that goes nowhere. I'm done with it. Let's get artsy. The acting was okay, it was alright for the co-stars, but when it came to Elizabeth Olsen, who stars as Sarah, you know, once again, just like in Martha Marcy May Marlene, she brought it. A lot of people have been complaining about the way she acts in this film. Uh, just kind of it like bugs them or something it like annoys them and especially her facial features uh, I can't really well here's an example <laughs> well it wasn't exactly like that but you get it no but really the character Sarah was a really great character in this film a uh, very interesting kind of you want to know more about her. The music was also something that really made the film, just like the way it was shot. Uh, this kind of just really got you into the movie. It was the type of movie that you'd hear in a Ty West film in The House of the Devil or uh, The Innkeeper, something like that. Very original, very uh, just basic, but really, really well done and very perfect for the type of film. <sighs> and lastly, of course, the twist. You know, I kind of saw it coming in the beginning. I knew something was odd, but, you know, I kind of got thinking. But, you know, it really surprised me towards the end. It was a little different than what I thought, and I think it was really well done. It didn't tell you exactly, like, it didn't just 
tell you, you know what I mean? You actually have to think about it. But it's really kind of an interesting and cool twist. Now, of course, in every video, just gotta get a little negative sometimes. So here are the dislikes. Who's having WWE tryouts up there? The only main problem I had with the film was the character Sophia, Sarah's childhood friend that we meet in the beginning of the video. She comes back towards the end of the movie, and I just feel like the writers could have done a little bit more with her. You know, she served a purpose, and this whole film in general, it kind of makes you think, but there comes to a point where it's a little bit too much, you know, like, just let the audience figure it out, and not enough, you know, actually telling us. And thinking's great, thinking's awesome, I really don't like films that just tell me too much, but they could have made a really cool character out of her, instead of kind of her just being there and you kind of figuring it out. I really enjoyed it. All in all, I'll give this film 4 out of 5 stars. It's in limited release right now, so it may be hard to watch it, but if there's a cinema near you that's playing it, definitely go watch it. It's a cool late night movie to, you know, just kind of enjoy. But yeah, before I go, I want to talk a little bit about something. I want you guys to check out this clothing company called Dead Seagull Clothing. Dead Seagull is an independent clothing company created by artist and designer Nick Penta. And you know, they just make really cool t-shirts like, like this one. And uh, everything you get, since they're not a big, major company, is 100% original and limited. But yeah, check them out on their Twitter, on their Facebook, and their official website. But yeah, peeps, uh, I'm done here. It was fun. Next week, I'm going to review 21 Jump Street, which next week, aka, you know, like, Monday or Tuesday. So be on the look for that. And, you know, that's it. Uh, bye, I guess. I mean, I don't really know what to say. I don't really know how to do this bye thing. I've never really done it before. Beep boop bop beep. Alright, bye.